Alright, so in this video, we'll be talking about powers, uh, power and roots. Okay, so you have here power and roots. Okay, so this is a special notation given to numbers in which we could uh, see and it, it's very useful to um, mathematical calculations. No? So first we will go with um, we'll go with in indices no indices okay so we have here indices no so this is the plural so if you will have this one and singular form that will be um, index no so this will be index so the singular for indices is index no so the other term for um, indices is power no power or sometimes we call this one as exponent okay okay so this notation for example if we have a number no for example we multiply 2 by itself three times so we have two times two times two okay so two times two times two so the answer for this one is equal to eight so there is a notation for us here we could use a notation that two is multiplied by itself three times and that is equal to 8 now the 2 here this one this is what we called as the base and the the um, subscript here or the superscript here the 3 this is what we called as the index or the exponent so basically when we say uh, power so that is to denote only the number of times we multiply a certain number to itself okay so this notation we could um, read this one as 2 raised to the power of 3 for example if we have another example 5 raised to the power of 4 so this will be 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. So we have 25, no? 5 times 5, 25 times 5. That will be, so 25 times 5, okay? So that will be equal to, So we have 25 times 5 that will be 125 so times 5 so that is equal to it is equal to 600 so the 625 so we could say that 5 raised to the power of 4 is equal to 600 25 so this is 5 raised to the power of 4 okay so there are special um, um, nomenclature or there are special ways to read to read certain um, um, number raised to a certain index no? for example if a certain number is raised to the power of 2 or 3 no? for example you have 3 raised to the power of 2 so we could read the, this one as 3 squared or for example 4 raised to the power of 3 so we could read this one as 4 so we could read this one as 4 cube no? so 
these are special um, indexes, no? special way to read these um, types of index. Okay, so let's have some example here. Should okay. So we have evaluate um, two raised to the power of six. This is the first um, problem. Second one is three raised to the power of four. Okay. So we have letter A. So 2 raised to the power of 6, so that, that means that we need to multiply 2 by itself 6 times. So we have 6 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, so we have 2 times 2, that is 4 times 2, 16 times 2, 32 times 2, 64 and So, 2 times 2, 16, 32, no? 32, 16, 32, then times 2, that is equal to 64. Then we have 3 raised to the power of 4. So, it only means that we need to multiply 3 by itself 4 times. So we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So, we have 3 times 3, that is... 9 times 3, 27 times 3, so 27 times 3, that is equal to 81, okay? So, what if we are going to reverse, no? Reverse the process of the previous example. So, for example, we have this one. Change the following to index form okay so we have first here 32 then the second one is 625 okay okay so we will have this one so 32 okay 32 so we need to divide 32 by the lowest prime number so we say prime number that is the number that the factor is itself and one so for this one we will try 32 divided by 2 so our prime number now will be our base so this will be equal to 16 then we divide itself by 2 so 8 divided by 2 4 divided by 2 this is equal to Two. So we count how many um, times the two here appear in our um, solutions. We have one, two, three, four, five. So our base is two raised to the power of five. Then we go to six hundred twenty-five. Okay, for letter B. So if you're going to divide this one by two, so we will have a remainder. So we go to the next um, prime number. So that is three. So we're going to divide that one by 3, then still we will have a prime number. So the answer will be 288.33. Then we proceed to another prime number which is equal to 5. No? 625 divided by 5, that will be 125. Then we divide again by 5. So this will be 25. Then we divide again by 5, and this is equal to 5. So our base base is five and the number of times it appears in our solution so have one two three four so five raised to the power of four so this will be our answer for letter a and this will be our answer for letter b Okay, so now we will go to roots and 
in uh, roots no in go to roots okay so we have here roots okay so roots is another notation to show that a number is being uh, multiplied by itself no in a certain number of times so it is the exact um opposite of um uh, index no? or power so the if we are going to change for example just like we did in the previous example so we have 36 divide we change this one into index form so we will have the answer for this one as 2 raised to the power of 5 huh? so for what if we are going to say that we need to find a certain number no? certain number for example um, that number is unknown in which if you are going to find no? we are going to divide our given no? or if we are going to um, multiply this one here or we are going to decompose this one five times we will get to that number so that is will be the fifth root of 36 and that will be equal to 2 so as you can see in getting the exponent or the index of a certain number we arrive with the answer this one so this is the result of the exponent now if we are getting the root of a number so we are um, trying to calculate or trying to, to evaluate what is the base no the base of that number if that number will be raised to a certain root no or to a certain um, number here you know, or a certain index so this is the um, the exact inverse of in uh, index or power okay so the common root is the square root no? so if for example we have 2 squared that is equal to 4 so if we are going to get the square root of 4 so that is equal to 2 so when there is no um, number here or index here meaning that that is a square root because if you have if we have the cube root so for example we have the cube root of 27 now the cube root of 27 so we need to find a number that is multiplied by itself three times to get 27 and that will be equal to 3 no 3 times 3 9 times 3 equals to 27 so for cube root up to nth root no? meaning to the infinite root so we will put the index here but for square root that is just 2 here no 2 okay so that is what we um known as the roots later we will go to uh, some of the laws and the principles or characteristics of powers and roots but we will try to focus here the introduction to this type of um, notations no the square roots or the roots and the power okay so we will try to have an example here so for example we have no evil weight okay three squared times two cubed times square root of 36 all over square root of 16 times 4 okay so it has a note here taking only positive roots okay so before we continue this problem let's just first take note what is a positive root so if there is a positive root so there is also a negative no a negative root so what is a positive and a negative root okay 
so for example if you have the square root of 4 so this is equal to 2 no? positive 2 because if we multiply 2 by itself so 2 times 2 so that would be equal to 4 but there is also another solution for this one or there is another root so for example negative 2 so if we, we multiply negative 2 by itself negative 2 it is still equal to 4 no so negative times negative that is positive so that is equal to 4 so it is not right to say that the square root of 4 is equal to 2 but the square root of 4 is equal to plus and minus 2 so we have the positive root and the negative root now for this problem so we are only taking the positive roots okay so if we have here 36 and 16 so square root of 36 and 16 so we are only considering the positive root of 36 and 16 okay so we have here 3 times 3 okay so 3 times 3 this is 4 e squared so times 2 times 2 and times 2 for the 2 cube in the square root of 36 so we will consider the positive so that is 6 all over square root of 16 so that is 4 and negative 4 so we only consider the positive root so this is equal to 4 times 4 so we will have 3 times 3 18 times 2 36 so we have 36 2 times 6 that is 12 all over 16 so we have Thirty-six times twelve, so that is equal to four hundred thirty-two. So four hundred thirty-two all over sixteen. So four hundred thirty-two divided by sixteen, this will be equal to twenty-seven. Okay, so the process here is somewhat tedious, no? So longer. So we could use cancellation, no? So we could cancel our. Um, certain part of our solution so that we could arrive at the answer um, and the on a much shorter way no? so maybe we'll do that here in no? this part of our screen so we just erase this one So we have so we have here three times three times two times two times two times six all over four times four. So this is equal to nine times two times two that is um, equal to equal to 4 no? then we have uh, times 2 so that is equal to 8 so we could have this one here as 8 no? so we write the one as 8 times 6 all over um, all over 4 times 4 no? then we have good um, cancel this one so we will left here with 2 and this will be 4 so we will end up with 9 times 2 times 6 all over 4 no? all over 4 so we will evaluate this one this will be um, this will be 18 times 6 huh? 18 times 6 then divided by 4 so we'll end up with 27 no? so same answer but we use 
cancellation method. No? So our um, values are much smaller compared to this other solution. Okay? Okay, so let's have another example. Table weight. Okay, so even with 10 to the power of 4 times square root of 100, taking only the uh, positive square root or the positive root. No? So 10 to the power of 4 times square root of 100 over 10 to the power of 3. No? So solution. So we have... 10 to the power of 4, that will be 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. With the square root of 100, the positive root of that one is 10. So times 10 all over. So 10 to the power of 3, that will be 10 times 10 times 10. No? So by cancellations, we could cancel 10 here. Then this one. So this is also can be cancelled. So we'll end up with 10 times 10 over. So this will be all 1. So over 1. So 10 times 10 divided by 1. That will be 100 divided 1 or equal to 100. And that will be our answer for this problem. Okay. So that will be all for this video. So I hope you understand understand something and as always enjoy learning.